I'm getting my very shaky cinematic car footage. Cool. Very essential to my vlogs. Love that. Thank you. Hello everyone, so we are on our way, well, we've arrived. I mean, we're, yeah, we're here, <laughs> pretty much, uh, we were like two minutes away, so, anyways, by the time I set up my camera, here we are, yeah, we're there, so it's, <laughs> it's Friday, uh, it's like the VIP day, so, um, we're basically getting here the same time as everyone who is setting up, so nothing is really probably going to be set up yet, we just get to watch everyone set up. So, anyways, I'm also with Mason and Alyssa. Hello. What up? Are you positive? Because well, Hello. everyone's parked in the middle. Oh. Oh. They have Ackies, and it's very tempting. Look at these.
everyone. So it is for us day two of NARBC. It is 6.45 a.m. So we're gonna go get caffeinated and then get there early. So I'm really happy about that. I'm very tired. We got several geckos yesterday, the first day we were there. And we have two more days of being able to browse. So that's fantastic. And Maddie stole a gecko. From Pangea. Two so. geckos. Oh, two. Okay, Maddie stole two geckos from Pangea, so canceled. Can you please explain the situation? And I'll no. That. Okay, so Maddie was going to buy, like, the geckos, and she took them and left without paying. Oh, stop. And then oh we God. left the expo. Stop. Please and here we are. Stop. Where are they? <laughs> so these are the geckos that have been stolen. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. They're very pretty. Good, good steal. Thanks. I'm picking up a mobile order. Yeah. And then did you guys have the bacon gouda egg breakfast sandwich? I do. I'll get that as well. Okay. Anything else for you? That's all. That'll be 12 -10. Great, thank you. Suck my ass. All right, Tyler, get your thing out, dude. Here. Just kidding. Stop, shut yeah, the so. fuck. I'm going to absolutely annihilate you. Is it up? Okay. Using a reward. Oh yeah, it's up. Presuming. Um. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. Great. It's cool to me that men can fall asleep just about fucking anywhere. They honestly, we could be getting in a car accident right now. Mason probably sleep through it. This is fucking weird. It's a shame. Yeah. Hillary just tastes like warm oat milk. Like nothing else. It's kind of a vibe. Is it now? Maddie's going to pay for the gecko that she stole. Oh my god. How's it going? Good. So I picked up like uh, two geckos yesterday while the boxes were being unpacked and Square wasn't set up yet. I owe you seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm back to do that. I forgot. Like I ate dinner and then left. I was like, oh my god, I just fucking stole from Pangea. <laughs>
All right, friends, so it is the third day of an ARBC for us. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna walk around, check stuff out. We went to the auction yesterday. I didn't uh, actually film any of that. It was very loud, so it would have been hard anyways. But it was really fun. I did get stuff at the auction, which I wasn't really expecting, but I'm not upset about it. Like, I'm really happy with what I got. So yeah, I will update you guys more later. I have never seen one that Alyssa got a chameleon last second. So the expo's literally closing in like 20 minutes and she just nabbed this. It's so pretty. Mason, me boy. Mason. <laughs> so that was my vlog for NARBC Tinley Park. We're back home and I want to show you guys what I got. So I'm not showing you everything because there are a few things that I got that I want to be their own separate dedicated video. I'm very excited to show you guys some of the new species I've gotten because they're things that I've really wanted to work with for a long time now. And I just had a really great opportunity and I just wanna do a video where I can dive a little bit more into detail about those animals. If you guys have any guesses on what they might be, leave them in the comments below because I'd love to know what you guys maybe thought that I've gotten. But I will be showing you a couple of the geckos that I got for some of my breeding projects. So I have them right here in front of me. So this first gecko here, she is a very big girl. So her name is Lumi, she is a big gecko. She's honestly, I think she's our biggest female, I think, she's huge. I'm really excited to work with her. She has just amazing structure, like look at her head, that head shape is just incredible. So this is actually a gecko that I paid for ahead of time and I picked up from the breeder at the expo. Now Lumi, that's not a good spot for you, unfortunately. So yeah, she's the female that I picked up. She's really cool. And then I picked up a much smaller female from Pangea. I tried to get her to fire up, but it doesn't really look like she fired up all the way. But she is a tricolor who I, I just saw her and I was like, whoa, that is a cool tricolor. So as you guys are aware, I have a few really nice tricolors and I'm just trying to get more to, uh, work on my projects and just see what cool tricolors I can produce myself. I have this little girl who obviously isn't going to be ready to breed, unfortunately, for a while. Whoa! Bestie! So she's from Pangea. What's really cool and what really drew me to her, um, she's actually related to Betty White. Not, not, the, not the person, Betty White. There's a gecko that's pretty well known from Pangea whose name is Betty White who is just a really pretty gecko. I'm gonna insert a picture, like you can just see for yourself. Just a very high white gecko. The fact that she was related to Betty White, I was like, that's really cool, so I wanna get her. So that is an example of why lineage tracking can be really important for crested gecko breeding because when they produce offspring, sometimes the offspring will show traits from the grandparents or the great grandparents or just other geckos down the line in lineage. That's one of the reasons why people will often want to see lineage when it comes to crested geckos. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, NARBC will be linked down below. If any of you guys live in the St. Louis area, make sure to check out NARBC in St. Louis because Maddie and I will be there. And at that expo, we'll actually be vending as Celestial Exotics. We're going to have some geckos available for sale there on our table, as well as other things, supplies, a lot of the stuff we sell on our website. 
If you guys can't make it to NARBC St. Louis, still check out the NARBC website. They have a bunch of different locations. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.